Hey, what's up? My name is Lee, and uh, in this video, I want to show you some freebies that I'm going to be giving away to you. So, these are just materials. Um, so far, I've got eight of them. I'm considering building these up and sort of collecting a library or, or creating a library of them. Um, the reason I'm giving these away for free is basically just because I've not really uploaded for a, for a long time, and basically just as a thank you to everyone that's that sort of stuck around. Now, with that being said, um, after this video, um, for the following few days, I'm going to be monitoring this video to check for anyone that comments on what they would like to see in the future videos, any sort of requests for tutorials, um, I'm totally up for that. So with that being said, um, I have these materials, um, some of them are very simple and basic and a little, some of them are a little more um, complicated, but each one have, has uh, at least one sort of unique feature or feature that I've put in here so far. So let's start with the simplest one, which is this tile material. So everyone is probably going to be using tiles within their architectural pieces. Um, this one has some cool features. I can change the tile color. So maybe I want to change this one to maybe pink and maybe I want to change this one to blue. So I can totally do something like that if I'd like. Let's just undo these. Okay, and the other feature it has here is these dents. So it may be a little difficult to see. So let's change this dent size down to about 0.25. And if we look at the ground here, you can see that um, we have these dents. Now these dents, the size of these dents operate separately to the size of the tiles. So I can change this back to three. And if we find one, if we look very closely, and press the G key here to remove the grid. grid. We can see that we have these sort of small dents in the ground here. Now, like I said, these are separate to the UV scale. I could also um, change this scale also if I'd like to have more or less tiles. Set this back to three by default and close this and move on. Okay, so that's, that's probably the simplest one. The next one after that is this brush metal. It's also quite simple, okay? Um, the brush metal has some basic features like the ability to change the roughness um, But the real feature here is really to be able to turn on and off these scratches So I can turn these scratches on and off and we'll just basically get a standard um, Oh, why did it not turn off? Sorry, I checked check the wrong things. We basically just get a standard brushed metal material. Nothing too spectacular um, But you know brush metal is um, is quite a good architectural piece or just a general um, nice material to have on hand so I'm going to turn these on again we can change the UV scales of um, of these as well so I feel like we can change the scale of our material depends on how far you want to take it I'm going to keep this perhaps down so maybe yeah, one no it's really pretty good Maybe somewhere in between, maybe 1.5. Anyway, so let's save this and close this and let's move on. Okay, so the next one is we have this frosted glass material. If I select this and open this, there's really not too many features we can have here. Uh, the main one is, I guess, just the scale. Okay, so if we set this to like perhaps one, we can really see what's going on here with the frosted glass. And this would also be quite good if you were to open up the material and to add some panels into the normals. This will give it um, a sort of nice watery effect. So let's close this. Next one is the wood material. Now, if you've watched my video on creating wood material, then you'll know exactly what this is. Basically, um, we can change the color of our wood planks um, to different colors. So maybe we want this one to be blue, or this pink color, and this one wants to be red, or pink, I guess. I want this one to be, I don't know, green. And maybe we want this last one to be, I don't know, yellow, for example, or orange. Anything you want. Anyway, the point here is that we can change all of these colors of our planks. Is a interesting um, thing we can do so I'm just going to undo these and basically it's really nice just for adding a little bit of variation into your wood planks 
And you can see that I've applied these uh, this wood material to this one and the glass one because if I applied the glass to the sort of backing of this, it's it's quite difficult to see. Okay, next up we have leather. This is just a simple leather material. There's really nothing to this besides from being able to change the colours and some basic values like that roughness and metallic. Not really going to go into that. Uh, then we have this plastic, which is quite nice. Uh, we can change the colour of our plastic. And you can see that our plastic also has a sort of damage, at least of scratches or, or surface um, anormalities. And if we change the base colour, so if we enable this and we change the base colour of our um, plastic, you can see that the colour of the, the the surface damage doesn't really change, so we can change that separately. Maybe we want this to be a slightly you know, sort of lighter version of this red or something. Something like this. Anyway, that's really up to you. Um, I've labelled this as plastic because it looks plastic to me and at least that's the intention. Okay, next one is a material that is a little more complicated, a little more in depth. If I select this and we open this up, this one has a lot of options and that's because we can change the height of this and uh, how much ambient occlusion there is. And so basically this is, um, I guess some sort of carpet or a rug um, type material. You see, we get really close. We can see this individual grains, and this is not based on tessellation. This is basically based on um, an offset. Okay, and so we can change uh, a bunch of options on here if we like. For example, we can change um, the ambient occlusion amount. Okay, so like maybe we can change the ambient occlusion to be less or, or more. Um, we can change the height ratio, which is going to change the height of um, the individual um, fibers. This is quite a sensitive um, value, so I would use this with a bit of caution. We can change the um, height diffuse, and basically there's a whole bunch of options. We can you can keep playing around with these. If you like, and the last one is basically just a very simple cloth material. Um, it has the fibers in here, and the the texture. Now, the thing about these two is that the texture only really needs to be very simple um, color. Same over here. If we open up this one, it's basically just a simple color. There's no texture information. Like that is to say, there's no cloth information in here. This is all controlled um, in the material using um, using the ambient occlusion maps, and basically this is just another adaptation uh, adaptation of this, but less complicated. You see, this only has really has a few options, um, and uh, I find generally speaking the the thing that really sells cloth um, on on a surface when when dealing with like rendering is having a really nice uh, fresnel or fresnel um, and that's really going to help so those are basically the features of this material set I'm, I'm going to continue in adding more materials to this and uh, potentially continue to upload them um, if you have a request for a, a specific type of material you would like to see um, please let me know. Um, I will probably create it and put it in the set and continue to upload them. But until then, like I said, if you have any uh, questions, if you have any requests for tutorials, please feel free to let me know. And until next time, bye bye.